Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. In this video session, we will learn about that how can we process our Ajax request in JavaScript. And this is the tutorial that I have made into smart programming tricks for beginners. And this is the number part in it. Okay. So as we know guys that there are so many several libraries actually have made by using javascript okay so if you want to process your ajax request then might you have used about something dollar dot post dollar at gate ajax request so there are several methods for doing that so let's start processing our ajax request in code programming in javascript okay so for making our ajax request we need two files first uh client side file like html file or you may say our php file and another file we need to process our request okay it means server side file so we will use php file for that so just back to our editor and here is as you can find that i have written some html code for that okay so where we are i have made a small form in which there are three input fields like name email and designation okay and this is our uh, input type submit button which pro actually submits our form but uh, I have prevented this form to default submission as you can see even dot prefer default this actually what it does it prevents the form default submission while clicking on this button means we want to submit this form by using a JAX request means via JavaScript okay so by using javascript we will use xml http request object for that okay so just go to the documentation section before starting this here you could find about ajax the html request okay so xml http request object we will use to process our ajax request and all modern browsers actually support this type of object okay so you can read your documentation section from this url under w3skills.com okay so we will make an object of that just copy this code and now we want that while clicking on this button we will hit on this function okay now here is the code of our code for ajax processing okay so let's make on click event for that on click and we hit process data method okay so just copy this name and paste it here we need to fire this function while clicking on this button all we need to use xml http object okay so i am made a variable for that xml http request so all i have made an object of html object class okay so just i need to process this so just copy the name of variable dot on ready state change okay and here is the function you need to write and if just copy this object name paste it here if ready state equal to equal to 4 and xml http dot status equal to equal to 200 okay so these are the variables guys actually these are the states defined under xml http request object okay so if you go to its documentation section and read about thoroughly then you can find that actually we are discussing about its method and its properties so just as you could find so i have used on radius state change just read this definition defines a function to be called when the radius state property changes means when we make any ajax request by using xml http request object then on radius state change gets triggered okay and this is the radius state which basically defines that on zero condition request not in sliced one server connection established so we will use four it means request finishes and the body is processed by the response from the server okay so ready state equal to equal to four and status equal to 200 means just scroll down 
as you can find status equal to 200 means okay means our server processed our request successfully okay so by processing the request from the server actually we want to take the response from the server to store the response from the server we will use response text okay returns the response data as a string so just copy of that so for now I am just writing into the console tab okay so response tab and just copy the object name dot okay all I have done now just I have made a small connections by using XML HTTP request now I am going to open this connection and sending this data to our PHP file okay so just open this connection first dot open in open method you need to pass the parameters as the XML HTTP request actually provides like method what is the method means are you using get method or post method here you need to pass URL okay of your PHP file which actually process your request and async asynchronous request means your request is asynchronous or synchronous okay so just you need to make true for asynchronous and false for synchronous and all you need to pass user and password these are the optional parameters as you can find into its documentation okay so just i am going to actually pass these three parameters for now method url and asynchronous okay so just i'm writing suppose it's a post request okay and here i need to write our php file url okay which actually process our request so this is actually guys that i have made like ajax.php file for that okay and if you go to editor then you can find this is the ajax.php where i have written a small sort of code like which actually provides the response in json format okay by taking all the parameters that actually we will pass from a javascript into this variable okay so just i am calling ajax.php as the url okay and now i'm making it true it means we have opened a synchronous request for that now we need to pass another properties like xm http and set ready set request header okay we are now calling what is the content type actually we are sending okay it's content type and it is something like application x ww form url encoded okay means we will send our all day all data into url encoded format okay so just i am sending the data like http dot send and here into pass variable like name equal to what the name actually we will pass from this name from this form okay so just copy the id copy of that and we need to store into a variable okay like name document dot get element by id okay and here you need to pass id of that txt name and the another is txt it's txt email and here is txt description okay txt dsc so just copy txt email where email equal to document dot get element by id all we have done with the email and the name just make copy of description also description So all we have accessed all those three values actually inputted into our input elements by name email and description so all these parameters we need to pass into send method okay so just copy the name name actually we have sent also we need to concatenate with email just copy of that email and finally the description just copy of that so all we have 
passed the three values actually we will get from this form and we have passed into the same method okay and the url encoded actually you will see that content type url encoded means guys that when we pass any value to url then the format should be something like this like your variable okay and here is value variable 2 here is value 2 all the values concatenated with ampersand symbol okay so just save this file go to browser and refresh this page once you refresh let's pass some value into it like online web tutor email is something like sanjay gmail.com and something php developer okay so just click on that let's refresh page once more guys so just pass online web tutor email and yes designation okay just click on that as you could find that name equal to object html input element name object html input element so this is the object that actually we will get from by using get element by id we need to access the value of this id okay this id indicates the use of this html element means this input type we need the past value into it we need to access the value which actually user pass into this text box okay so just dot value dot value and dot value all we have done now we have attached a value property with that by using this property we actually get the value which actually we will pass into this text box okay so just go to browser and refresh this page once more let's pass values like online with tutor and here is designation okay just click on that as you can see that all the outputs are expected we will get okay so this is the simple ajax request guys that we have made by using html request okay so this is the one of the type that we have passed like post if you want to use get request for that just you need to change something like get okay and all you need to write just come in this line come in this line and all you need to write get rid of this from send method and all you have to pass that as you know that get request meaning all we have to pass in the url okay so just make question mark and paste all values that we have copied actually into this okay means the name parameter into name email and description okay so all we need to concatenate those values actually we will send into the post method so by making copy of these parameters into the url section okay so just save this file and refresh this page online with tutor like email at this.com and designation something php double just click on that output as expected what we get from previous method okay so this is the second way guys that we have seen by using get method okay so guys we have seen the two different ways to pass the data to the server in ajax request by using xml http request object okay by using post method as well as we have seen about post method so let's recap about all those methods once more before closing this video so just go to its documentation section here i have made some sort of code to understand about post request and get request in a clear vision first of all we have to make an object of xml http request we need to fire on ready state change function for that okay and we need to compare after that that ready state should be equal to equal to 4 and the status should be 200 means okay okay after passing these two variables we need to take the response from the server and the request response text actually takes the body of the response okay all these parameters about ready state status and response text you could find into the documentation section about the its detail okay about ready state on ready state change response text as well as status so you could find all the details from its documentation section okay so after means making your connection you need to open your connection and here you need to specify that what type of request actually you are going to make i am going to make post request 
and here is the URL that you need to pass which actually process your request and we are making our asynchronous equal to true okay and we are just setting our header like content type its application x and it's in form form url encoded data and these all data we need to pass okay into send method so this is the post method that we have seen so far now just i am moving into the get section all you need to change under get you need to change the type and all those values actually you are passing into the same method while using post request all these variables actually you need to pass into the url section by concatenating by using symbol plus sign here right? and all you need to uh, remove all the section from its same method so this is the gate method request and uh, its post request method okay all we have seen and one more thing guys that we need to discuss about these requests like just refresh this page once more let's type online with tutor and here is email something like that and php developer okay so just go to network section i'm clicking on network tab and when i click on submit form data then you could find a record will be there okay just click on that here you could find that ajax.php file actually we have hit that method by using get method okay so just click on that when you click on that then you can find all the details about your request like this is the url this is the method that we have set and this is just status code that we got from the server and all the things that we have passed okay and this is the response that is we get from the server okay and into the header section if we just close on these tabs then you also find that under the query string parameters you have passed three different variables to the server so all these details actually uh, the network section contains when when we make any ajax request to the server okay so guys i think i have made much more clear concept about ajax request by using xml http object into javascript okay so if you have any query about this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day